Hello, my name is Todd Fetterman, and today we're going to be talking about tangents of a circle. First up, let's take a look at a circle and let's draw a line segment tangent. We all know that in a, a line which is exterior to a circle that touches at just one point is called a tangent. The question is, is this somehow related to the trig function tangent? The answer is yes. And to figure this out, we're going to examine a circle. We're going to look at a central angle and create a right triangle and look at the trig ratios. And then we're going to compare this to a line segment, which is tangent. First up, let's start by drawing a unit circle. A unit circle is a circle that has a radius of 1. And let's call the center of the circle A. Next up, we're going to create a central angle by drawing another line segment. We draw another segment from A to the circle, which also has a radius of 1. And let's label the points where it intersects the circle B and E. Over here you've got B, and down here you've got E. These are the points where the two radii intersect the circle. Next up, we're going to drop a perpendicular line from B down to uh, the radius AE, and the reason why we're doing this, we want to create a right triangle. And we're going to look at the trig ratios. We're going to call the intersection point C. OK, let's take a look at this angle A. And let's figure out what the sine and cosine are. We know the cosine of an angle is the adjacent, which is AC, over the hypotenuse, which is AB. But here, AB has a length of 1, so we can simplify the cosine of A as simply the length AC. Let's take a look at the sine. We know the sine of A is going to be the opposite, the length of BC, divided by the hypotenuse, which is going to be BC over AB. But once again, AB has a length of 1, so the sine of A can simply be reduced to the length of BC. Now before we take a look at the tangent of angle A, let's draw an exterior line which is tangent and take a look at that. We're going to draw a segment that's tangent to AE. So it intersects the circle at E and it's tangent. Next, we're going to take the radius AB, we're going to extend it to meet the line segment that we just drew, and we're going to label the intersection point D. Well, one of the things that we notice right away is that we've created two similar triangles. Triangle ABC and triangles ADE are similar. And how is that First, they both share the angle A. They both have a right angle. And therefore, by the no-choice theorem, we know that angle ABC and angle ADE also must be the same. OK, now let's take a look at the tangent of A using the smaller triangle. The tangent of A is going to be the opposite, which is BC over the adjacent, which is AC. But that's simply the sine over the cosine. Now, let's take a look at the tangent of A using the larger triangle. Here, the opposite is DE, and the adjacent is AE. But we know that the length of segment AE is 1. So we can reduce this to simply DE over 1, and we can simplify again, and the tangent of angle A for the larger triangle is simply the length of the segment DE. Therefore, we can conclude that the length of a line segment, which is tangent to a circle, that connects to a central angle 
is in fact the trig function tangent of the central angle. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me at mathdoctor at comcast.net.